Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Shine and you can thank Sick Sipper Beats for today's video because he basically wants to know how Lil B finessed a boogie and PMB rock by basically taking the situation where he got jumped by I don't know how many dudes and coming out looking like he was the king. So for those of you who somehow don't know what I'm talking about, the Rolling Loud concert was about a week or a week and a half ago and while there, Lil B got jumped by people who were allegedly sent by PMB rock or NA boogie. Immediately following this this little B went on stage. Hey man, A hey Boogie and his whole crew just jumped me in the back, man, and, and beat me up in the back, man. That shit crazy, man. Hey, but I'm gonna tell y'all like this. It's all love. I don't promote violence. I'm never with the violence. So I love them and it's all good. And after that, Twitter was going crazy. I'll put up a few tweets right now for you guys to pause the video and read if you want to, but I'm not gonna go deep into it until the end of the video. But first we gotta talk about how did Lil B do this? Yes, it does have a lot to do with it. Lil B's immediate reaction. He got his ass beat, went on stage and just immediately forgave these people. I ain't never seen no shit like that before. I'm not even gonna lie. But the truth is Lil B started planting these seeds a long time ago. Why? Because Little B is known as this super positive figure, this super positive being, and he's been giving his positive energy to people that he's been meeting for years and years, almost in a politician-like fashion, in the same way a lot of people say that Will Smith cares about everybody and he's super positive. You hear that same consistent story about Lil B all the time, and he's been doing that for so long, it automatically takes him off the table for being somebody you can actually get credit for when it comes to beating him up. It's almost like beating up hip hop's favorite puppy or something. No offense, Lil B. Cool, you did it, but why? Then you add on the fact that Lil B's a pretty small dude anyway. Now, Google tells me that he's 5'6". I ain't never seen a dude in person. I don't know how tall he really is, but 5'6 is a pretty small dude. Now you got a 5'6 positive dude. What do you really gain publicly from beating somebody like that up? And what everybody is saying is the reason that Lil B got jumped was because of the tweets that he made when he basically said that I'm more New York than some other artists. And when you read that tweet and see Lil B get jumped, it's almost like, yo, is it really that serious? But to A Boogie and PNB Rock's defense, when you actually look at the other older tweets that a lot of people don't tend to reference, Lil B had some that were a little bit more disrespectful in my opinion. Now whether or not it was worth him getting jumped, yeah, I don't get into people's business like that and plus I don't even know if there was more background stuff going on outside of just tweets. But let's talk about a second reason that Lil B getting jumped actually went the way that it did. And that's just the fact that hip hop is not what it used to be. It's not really a street driven culture as far as the fans are concerned in wanting their artists to represent something that's hood, gangster, any of those stereotypical terms that people use. because. Hip hop over the years, just like the NBA has been taken over by suburban culture. A lot more of the stars are not from the streets. They might not start off super rich or anything, but they aren't coming from the exact same type of environments. And it's not that street artists don't exist anymore, they aren't successful, it's just that the focus and highlight is on these other type of artists. When you think of more of like a Kid Cudi or Chance or Russ. So the game is just different that way. And the third and last reason is really just the fact that they underestimated Lil B's impact on the game. A lot of people still sleep on Lil B and how he really created a wave in so many people that exist today. And then when you add on the fact that when people have met him, they haven't had those experiences like they might have had with a lot of people they've been looking up to where they meet him and then all of a sudden they're an asshole. Lil B's kind of exempted himself from just all of that. So once again, him positioning himself as this positive loving figure over time where it just doesn't even seem like why would you hit Lil B in the first place? And then you add on the fact that we're in a culture that doesn't really celebrate people getting beat up as much as they used to. Then you add on the fact that this person is somebody who actually influenced a lot of people in the game today. Not to mention there wasn't even a stain on Lil B's suit. I mean, did they wash the bottom of their sneakers before they stumped them out? But anyway, all this resulted in this huge Twitter uproar where you saw so many people in support of Lil B. And I mean people with influence, not just fans. Everybody was tweeting in support of Lil B. I'ma put a link to this article, scroll down to the bottom, you will see pages of tweets from people like Adam22, Father, just loads of people tweeting in support of Lil B. <laughs> Once again, I've never seen nothing like that where somebody just gets up and be like, I forgive you, that's some, Jesus Christ type stuff. So what do you guys think? What was y'all's reaction when y'all saw this happen yourselves? And what did you think as you start to see other people reacting to it as well? And of course, hit that like button. If you like the video, please share it. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel, 
hit that subscribe button.